Hello, hello, it's television's very own Richard Arnold here. Not on Good Morning Britain at the moment because like all of you, I'm staying at home and staying safe. But in the meantime, Easter is upon us. Spring is about to bust all over and what better way to keep our bums on seats at home safely than with my armchair entertainment guide. First up, of course, it's the return of the street sweeper we call Britain's Got Talent. And what a show they've got lined up for you this weekend. With the Fab Four judges casting a glad eye as always, hovering over that golden buzzer, waiting to shower affection and hopefully constructive criticism on this year's contestants. Now remember, all these auditions were filmed pre-pandemic, but nevertheless, the contestants are still vying for that all-important position in the semi-finals, which we'll see a little bit later this year. In the meantime, here's a little teaser about what you can expect. Hi. Us Brits love a cup of tea. Would you like a biscuit? Oh, yes, I will, Jackie. And we love sitting down reading a good book. This is absolute chunk. Now that is more like it. But above all else, we love the fact that Britain's got talent. Well, as you can see, once again, there is something for everyone on this year's BGT. It kicks off on uh, Saturday night. Chatting to Amanda Holden about it recently, she said the talent was a lot more homegrown this year, uh, Richard. She had a lot of what she described as bedroom rehearsers performing in front of her and her fellow judges. And we've all been there, haven't we, rehearsing in the bedroom with a hairbrush as a microphone. Coming up straight after uh, BGT on Saturday night as well on the ITV Hub, you can catch BGT on a scene uh, featuring uh, lots of chats with the contestants who you have seen on the show, of course. Lots of backstage uh, tip bits, um, all of which they couldn't reveal on the main show itself. Catching up with the aforementioned Fab Four judges and, of course, the impish but phenomenally talented uh, Ant and Deck. Like I say, that's happening straight after BGT this weekend. Coming up next week on ITV, there's a brand new mini-series as well. It's called A Quiz, and it's based on the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire scandal that rocked ITV. And, of course, the tabloids way back in the early 2000s when a British army major and his family tried to fleece the show of that all-important £1 million. With a ticklish throat, apparently. You can catch that Monday to Wednesday. That's at 9 o'clock, of course, on ITV next week and, as always, on the ITV Hub. When I'm at home um, and I'm practising, you know, I guess, I guess, I'm, I guess wrong 80% of the time. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to go with Craig David. <laughs> Charles, uh, you'd never heard of him a moment ago. No, Craig David. We're going to... Final answer. Yeah, final answer. Well, uh, what a show this is turning into. Major Charles Ingram uh, was on £16,000. He didn't have to play this question. He said in his own words that he never heard of Craig David. He went with a one. Uh, and then, because... Well, I rather lost the plot with his thinking then. Uh, <laughs> but he changed his mind, knowing that he would lose £15,000 if he gave the wrong answer. He went with Craig David, who he'd never heard of. <laughs> Just around the corner as our bulbs continue to blossom as well. Who better to treat you than at home than Joel Domit? Yes, indeed, the masked singer host has welcomed us into his home. It's called At Home with Joel Domit. You can see what he did there. And it's filmed entirely at his own home. You can catch that on Sunday night, April on ITV2. Now, if you haven't caught the first and second series of the award-winning drama with a few titters in it as well as a body count called Killing Eve, then you must have been hiding under a very big rock. Or, on a lighter note, you've got an awful lot to look forward to as season three dawns on BBC iPlayer uh, next week. Brought forward earlier than we anticipated. So a real treat for fans. As I say, if you haven't caught this series yet, get yourself binge watching it over the weekend so you can settle down with the rest of us and watch a season three. Who else but Jodie Comer's Villanelle taking on Sandra O's Eve once again. Two lovely ladies, but as always, on a collision course. Ah! What the what? hell are you doing here? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You texted me. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. It didn't make a lot of sense. Something about loo, paper, beer. Oh, oh, God. I was a bit worried, if I'm honest, so I tracked your phone. 
You know, you really shouldn't leave your front door open considering the amount of people that have tried to kill you. Oh. Oh. Speaking of binge-worthy box sets, I'm sure you've all heard about the home of the box set, and that, of course, is at BritBox, where you can catch, and I make no apologies, I'm reading this, because, frankly, I'd be here all day if I wasn't. You can catch every episode of The Office, The Inbetweeners, this time with Alan Partridge, uh, Peep Show as well, personal favourite of mine, cracking dramas like Liar, of course, how sensational was that last series, uh, Deadwater Fell and Flesh and Blood. You know you're getting on a bit where most of these box sets I actually have in a drawer outside in the shed in the garden. Now the streaming service, as you know, has the best of uh, BBC, ITV, Channel 4 and Channel 5, the best of British by any other name, and it's all ad free. You can sign up for a 30 day free trial. Do it. It's well worth it. With more from the BBC, ITV, Channel 5, and now... Hello. Channel 4. It's a gift. All in one place. Perfect. Uh, sink your teeth into the seriously binge-worthy series, uh, Tiger King. Uh, it tells the story of uh, some of the characters who have dedicated their lives to keeping a big cats. Now, it's not for everyone, I hasten to add, but the characters themselves are utterly compelling, all the more so, terrifyingly, in some cases, their real life too. Uh, from the gun-toting mullet sporting Joe Exotic, who keeps his selection of big cats, to the doctor of mystical science, Doc Antel, and of course there's Carol Baskin as well, the animal rights activist. Uh, it's all of the chatter in the absence of a water cooler amongst uh, my friends. So settle down and enjoy. I was so slack-jawed I couldn't actually drink during it, which for me, was quite a leap of faith. But Carol Baskin keeps saying, I can't have these tigers. If he ever had an enemy in his life, it was Carol Baskin. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens, it's Carol at Big Cat Rescue. Carol is the Mother Teresa of cats. We will end the private possession of these cats. This is my way of living, and nobody's gonna tell me any otherwise. Carol has an army of people working for free. She's a plain out hypocrite. She literally does everything that I do. So Joe says, will you go to Florida and what? What a story, and it got way bigger. On top of all the box sets, we have some great live streaming treats for you as well coming up over the Easter weekend and into the spring. Uh, first up, one for Easter Sunday, a treat for all the fans, my mother included. That's Andre Bocelli. He'll be doing a live concert, performing a solo turn at the Duomo, which is Milan's famous cathedral, of course, and you can catch that on Andre Bocelli's uh, YouTube channel. It's got to be one to watch. Oh. Another one that's got my friends talking as well is the National Theatre and they've launched their own National Theatre at Home which plays out on their YouTube channel which basically brings the boards into your home. Uh, streaming the performance on YouTube every uh, Thursday. You can already catch up with this week's performance. I think it was Jane Eyre, that's right. Um, coming up we've got uh, Treasure Island and Shakespeare's Twelfth Night as well. And think about it, you don't have to listen to the crackle of all those crisp packets being opened and other people eating uh, in the theatre. You can just settle down and enjoy it in the comfort of your own home and eat what you like. If music be the food of love, play on. M. Malvonia. Now, if the bard isn't your thing, then what about a bingo? Because eyes down for a full house. I'm talking about Bongo's Bingo. Have you heard of it? No, neither had I until I was briefed thoroughly by my team at GMB who was still working hard to bring you the show every single day. Now be warned, um, it's not necessarily one for your nan. Bongo's Bingo is the bingo night that combines the fun of Legs Eleven and Two Fat Ladies with intermittent dancing on tables and pub quiz style challenges. I'm hooked already! The events are jam-packed with music, prizes, live call-ins and audience dares thrown in. Plus there are ways to donate to the NHS throughout the show. Uh, you can stream Bongo's Bingo, and I'm not making this up, Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays at 8pm via the Twitch app. I'm twitching at the prospect. And you know, when you're asked to put something like this together uh, for your colleagues at GMB and obviously you guys at home, and then they suggest drag aerobics. Well, they clearly know their crowd. So if you're not feeling the burn from all those home workouts, which of course we're all trying as best we can to work up a bead in 
the comfort and safety of our own home at the moment, then try, and this is a real thing, right? London cabaret star Dolly Trolley, who I am familiar with. Now, Dolly is streaming drag aerobic classes on Instagram and Facebook Live every Wednesday at 7.30 straight from Dolly's living room. I'm going to try it. I may have a camera trained on me. It wouldn't surprise me if indeed there is a camera trained on me right now other than the one in front of me because I know what my lot are like uh, at work. So, okay, that's it for me uh, for now. As I say, from the comfort and the safety of my own home, please do the same as well. Uh, don't go out. Let's protect those lives. And of course, our NHS. It's Richard Arnold here, television's very own, signing off for now with your entertainment and Easter spring guide. God bless you.